Hey guys, it's Dr. Sharun here and welcome to our channel which is called Need Buddy where we bring you to the daily biology MCQs so that before the upcoming NEET exam you will have a good practice and a good speed so that the NEET exam you will easily crack it and that's what we are going to do today so let's get started Today we are going to provide you with daily biology MCQs from your practice Today we are going to provide you with daily biology MCQs from your practice Today we are going to provide you with daily biology MCQs from your practice So without wasting much time, let's get started Question number 52 Minerals known to be required in large amounts for plant growth include calcium, magnesium, manganese, copper, option B, potassium, phosphorus, selenium, boron, option C, magnesium, sulfur, iron, zinc, or option D, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, and calcium. Minerals which are required in large amounts for plant growth. Correct answer is option D, Phosphorus, Potassium, Sulphur and Calcium. Question number 54. First vascular plant is Thallophyte, Pteridophyte, Bryophyte or Spermatophyte. First vascular plant is. Correct answer is option B, Pteridophyte. Question number 15. Yellow bone marrow is found specially in medullary cavity of long bones, spongy bones, short bones, all of above. Yellow bone marrow is found specially in the medullary cavity of. Correct answer is option A that is long bones. Question number 67. Which one of the following is resistant to enzyme action? Leaf cuticle. Cork, wood fiber or pollen exine. Which one of the following is resistant to enzyme action? Correct answer is option D that is pollen exine. Question number 3. Ring worms in humans is caused by bacteria, fungi, nematode, viruses. Ring worm in humans is caused by. Correct answer is option 2 that is fungus remember guys don't confuse ringworm with nematodes okay ringworm is the name given to the lesion not the organism ringworm is the lesion which is caused by fungus right there are three such uh, funguses which causes the ringworm the names are given in crt find them out question number 55 the common nitrogen fixer in paddy field is rhizobium azospirillum Oscillatoria Frankia. Correct answer is option 3 Oscillatoria. Question number 77. Which of the following is not used as biofertilizer in organic farming? Nostoc, Rhizobium, Azospirillum, Trichoderma. Not used as biofertilizer in organic farming. Correct answer is option D Trichoderma. Question number 94. N-dark is seen in stem, root, leaves or option D both A and B. The correct answer is option A that is in stem. Question number 42. Which one of following statements about all the four of spongilla, leech, dolphin and penguin is correct? Option A. Penguin is homeothermic while the remaining three are poikilothermic. Option B. Leech is freshwater form while all others are marine. Option C. Spongilla has special collared cells called coanocytes not found in remaining three. Option D. All are bilaterally symmetrical. Correct statement about all four of the animals. Correct answer is option C. Spongilla has special collared cells called coanocytes not found in leech dolphin and penguin question number 63 bacterial leaf blight of rice is caused by species of option a arvenia option b xanthomonas option c zoodomonas or option d alternaria bacterial leaf blight of rice is caused by species of correct answer is option b that is xanthomonas Question number 4. Which set is similar? Corpus luteum, graphene follicle, 
sebum, sweat, vitamin B7, niacin, bundle of his pacemaker. Which set is similar? The correct answer is option A, corpus luteum, graphene follicle. Question number 30. When breastfeeding is replaced by less nutritive food, low in protein and calories, the infant below the age of one year is likely to suffer from rickets, Cavashiocar, Pellegra or Merasmus. The correct answer is option B, Cavashiocar. Remember guys, protein energy malnutrition are of two types, Cavashiocar and Merasmus. Now you need to remember under which year it is called as Cavashiocar and above which year it is called as Merasmus. Question number 61. Which one of the following statement is true regarding digestion and absorption of food in humans? Fructose and amino acids are absorbed through intestinal mucosa with the help of carrier ions like sodium. Chylomicron are small lipoprotein particles that are transported from intestine into blood capillaries. About 60% of starch is hydrolyzed by the salivary amylase in our mouth. Oxyntic cells of our stomach secrete the proenzyme pepsinogen. Which one of following statement is true regarding digestion and absorption of food in humans? Correct answer is option A. Fructose and amino acids are absorbed through intestinal mucosa with the help of carrier ions like sodium. Question number 81. Toxic agents present in food which interfere with thyroxin synthesis leads to development of toxic goiter, cretinism, simple goiter, thyrotoxicosis. The correct answer is option C, simple goiter. Question number 93. A fern differs from a moose in having option A. Swimming archegonia, option B. Swimming antherozoites, option C. Independent gametophyte, option D. Independent sporophyte. A fern differs from a moss in having. The correct answer is option D. Independent sporophyte. So those are the MCQs for today. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another set of MCQs. Till then. All the best and keep working hard. Do like and share this video if you find it helpful. And if you are new out there, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.